Fitness, it's Allie here from Fit for Fatima, and I'm here to talk to you today about my new game plan. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so if you followed me for any amount of time, you know that I focus on the four Fs. Faith, family, fitness, and food. Those are my four Fs. And for as long as I can remember, I have had a really difficult relationship with food. Like, so bad. If I'm happy, if I'm sad, if I have no emotions, if I have all the emotions, I eat, okay? And it's just, like, I thought it was just this food issue, but I feel like it's turned into something, I'm realizing it had turned into something that is actually gluttony. And I really spent a large part of 2019 trying to battle that gluttony um, and realizing that I need to overhaul how I'm doing it. So, I know how to diet. I know how to work out. I was a college water polo player, D1, number five in the nation, what, what, San Jose State. Um, but the point here is, is that this is a bigger picture for me personally, um, learning how to cope and deal with food and cope and deal with my emotions instead of letting food rule my life, turning to God um, to help me navigate what's going on. So here's my game plan for Fit for Fatima YouTube. I am gonna give you updates each week, really to hold myself accountable for what's going on with my life um, and how I'm dealing with everything. So, whew, I'm like so nervous. I feel like winded, just like how nervous I am about all this because it's gonna be really hard. Um, so I've decided to use a nutrition program that is really focused on intuitive eating instead of like weighing and measuring my food. Now I have had a lot of success weighing and measuring my food. Like you can look at other videos <clears throat> and, um, 21 day fix, portion fix, fix eight, you name it. Those beach body programs where we weigh and measure, like I lost like 50 plus pounds doing that, but I gained it all back. Right? So, um, this isn't necessarily about losing weight, but I need to lose weight. Right? So stepped on the scale this morning, boom, dead. You guys, I weigh 270 pounds. Like it makes me just, it like breaks my heart. Like, what am I doing? You know? So, and it, it just, that weight, that number is horrible. Let's we'll start with that. But it really is a reflection of like how I feel inside and the hurt that I have and like the pain that I'm going through. So, um, I need to learn how to cope with those feelings and talk about what hurts and why it hurts and how I feel the way I feel in the moment and about things of the past. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um, so I'm not going to be doing the portion control program because I'm an extremist. Like I would dive into that so hardcore way and measure everything all the time and I would kill it, but it wouldn't fix my heart, right? Instead of being gluttonous, I would be throwing all those feelings <laughs> into weighing and measuring things and I would become kind of psycho about it. So with that being said, I'm going to use a program called to be mindset. And I tried it for like a couple weeks right before I got pregnant with Angie. Um, and Angie is almost 11 months now. Um, but I get a thing called hyperemesis. You might see some videos about that. Um, especially on my Instagram, I covered that a lot, but I throw up the entire pregnancy. I mean, from conception to birth, like I'm throwing up multiple times a day. Um, which also really isn't good for my mental health when it comes to like my relationship with food, as you can imagine. So <clears throat> the smallest, the lowest weight that I have been over the last probably 10 years is 236. When I played college water polo, I was like 165, 170. Um, and I would just really like to be under 200. Like that is a huge goal for me. So that means 71 pounds. I was exactly 270 this morning. <sighs> Heart wrenching, guys. Heart wrenching. So that means 71 pounds needs to drop. And I really want to do that in the next year, but it's not essential. What is essential is that I get this healthy relationship with food. Okay, so I obviously am a beach body coach. Um, if you want to journey with me, like let me know. I would love for you to journey with me and my Catholic mamas. There's a couple Christian mamas. They're not all moms. Raymond. Christian women. If you want to join in, you're welcome to. I am 
I'm going to be doing this meal plan um, for the first week. And it's the Bar Blend um, workout program that Beachbody is releasing right now, coupled with 2B Mindset. So this is my seven-day meal plan. And it's all laid out like by Beachbody. So it gives you your grocery list. I'll get your soccer ball in a second. Hold on. Um, gives you your grocery list, like pantry, dry food, whatever, all the stuff. Everything that you need is like laid out here. And then these are like live links, live links on how to like make it or prepare it or whatever. So my, ew, it's like old banana. Serious chaos coordinator. I think I make most of the chaos myself. But so my plan is to update you guys each week on how the previous week has gone. Um, like how the workouts have gone, how the food has gone, but mostly like how I'm turning to God or not. Hopefully it'll be more turning to than turning away from, but how I'm throwing myself at his mercy and asking for his help with all this. So, um, a lot of plans for prayer, for adoration, for, um, journaling, personal development, and then the fitness and the food are like secondary. So faith is going to be first in this journey for me, really guys. I think that's the only way I can combat this um, because I do believe it's gluttony. I don't think that it's just like, you know, being chubby. Um, so I think that that's just God's way of showing me that it's gone. Super weird video just cut off. Never happened before. Anyways, I think that this is God's way of showing me that this has just all gone too far and that my body is out of whack and I need to rein it in. Um, <clears throat> like my body, my soul, everything is out of whack. So you guys, this morning, I, like my underwear are tight. Like my plus size underwear are tight. What is happening? So, took my before pictures. I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to like load a picture with a video <laughs> on here. Um, even though I live in Silicon Valley, I'm not like super tech savvy. My husband just got me these for Christmas. Um, but anyways, <laughs> point being is that um, we're gonna focus on faith and Fitness and food are going to fall in under that um, category and really just by focusing on faith, I think that my fitness and food will come in line. And I'm going to show you guys just how the journey is, like the rawness of it. Um, and I think that by doing this, my family will actually be better for it. Like I'll be a better mom, you know, and wife. So that's the hope. Um, so the biggest like to get real about like what my struggle is. My biggest struggle is with my extended family. So unfortunately I am estranged from them and it will probably stay that way. Um, and so I'm just learning what it's like to be away from them. And it's actually healthier and more fruitful for me, um, which is great. But, um, you know, it's a transition. It's, it's a crazy weird transition to go from seeing people like multiple times a week to like nada. Um, and whether that's, you know, and that's a, the healthy move for me, but it's still difficult. Right. So I'm used to those personalities, those people, those souls in my life. And God made it clear that, that there needed to be a separation in order for my family and myself to be healthy. <sighs> whoa, it's hard. <laughs> like, whoa. So here we are friends. Here we are. Um, so I ordered my food from my Walmart grocery delivery. Um, it's coming between two and 3 PM PST. This is center time. I mean, Cali girl. Um, and I'm just going to follow the seven day meal plan. That's my, that's my game plan. Um, tomorrow the workouts release. So I'm going to try one of the workouts tomorrow is my plan. Um, and then really like day one is Monday. So. Like my tongue feels dry. I feel like I'm going to cry. Um, this is going to be really hard for me, but I feel like the best way to have accountability is to like post it on my YouTube. And if you want to follow like the day to day on Instagram, like I'll just do like the highlights and the big deal stuff on YouTube, but like my day to day craziness, um, chaos, if you will, will is still on Instagram under, um, at fit for Fatima. So you're welcome to follow me there as well. If you're interested in doing um, the program or any program really, whether it's like the portion control stuff or the to be mindset stuff or just the workouts, whatever it is. Um, and you want like an awesome Catholic group to follow.
cut off again. Like, what is going on with my phone? This is so great. I feel like, um, <laughs> I'm like, not today, devil. Um, this would normally really frustrate me and I'd just be like, forget it, I'm not doing this video today. Um, but anyways, if you want an awesome group to follow along with, if you want to join us, a um, bunch of amazing supportive Catholic women, um, and we just, you know, check in every day about our nutrition, about our fitness, about our spirituality, whatever it may be. Um, we'd love to have you. So, um, I'm praying for you. Hopefully you're praying for me and I can offer this up for your intentions, um, and the intentions of the Holy Father. So I'm going to close this, uh, with a Hail Mary and a St. Michael prayer. So if you'd like to join me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the earth, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for following along. Thank you for praying for me. And I hope that you can journey with me. God bless you. See you next week.